Hello my pre-calculus. In this video, we are going to add subtract and multiply matrices. Let's begin with adding and subtracting. So let's take a note to add or subtract matrices. They must have same dimen dimension. Let's give example. Let I'm gonna call this a matrix A. Matrix A have two rows and two columns. So we have four, negative two, three, five. Matrix B have two rows and two columns. Zero. 1, negative 2, 3. Matrix C have three, 3 rows and 2 columns. 1, negative 1, 0, 7, negative 4, and 2. Okay, so, so then let's write down the dimension for each matrix. So the dimension, you need to start with row by column. So for the matrix A, that would be 2 by 2. And for Matrix B, 2 by 2 again, but for matrix C will be 3 by 2, 3 rows by 2, co two columns. So we can, we say that to add or subtract matrices, they must have dimensions on the same dimension. So we can add A and B, A plus B. Yes, we can we can do this because they have the same dimension. So think about here. If I have matrix A is four, negative two, three, five. Plus matrix B will be zero, one, negative two, three. Yes, we can add the two matrices symbolically. So we will take the number in each row and so row 1 column 1 plus row 1 column 1 of matrix B so the A row 1 column 1 of matrix A plus row 1 column 1 of matrix B so that will give us 4 and you do exactly the same thing. So you start with row 1, column 2. So ne ne negative 2 plus 1 gives you ne negative 1. Now, the dimension of the sum is still 2 by 2. So move on to row 2. So we 3 plus negative 2 is 1. 5 plus 3 is 8. So this is the sum of A and B. But we can... But we cannot... at A, A, A and C. Okay, so the reason that we cannot add, find the sum of A and C because matrix A and, ma and matrix C, they don't have the same dimension. So, so far we should be clear with adding and subtracting. So they must have same di dimension. Let's go with multiplication. Mm-hmm. 
Het in. So to find the product or to multiply metric A that have the dimension is M by N. And metric B had dimension N by K. The product of A and B. is the matrix AB and had dimension is M by K. Okay, so let me draw a map so that it makes more sense. To, it makes sense to you. So here, this is our metric A, and metric A has dimension it's m by n. This is our metric B. It has dimension it n by k. So if you can think right here that in our matrix A, this n will be this is column in matrix A. This n they must be the same and so this will be row in B. So it means now you can see that co the co the number of co columns in A must be the same thing as the number of rows in B. So these two numbers must be equal. Then our pro then our product this is the product A B has dimension it M by K. Okay, so let's do example now. The example. So I'm go ahead and let matrix A is a is a three by two, so we have one negative one. Zero, three, four, negative two. So this is metric A.
and our matrix B is the 2 by 1, so negative 1, negative 2. Now we are going to find the pro we are going to find the product or we need to multiply A and B. So let's look at the dimension again. The dimension for ma matrix A is three row by two column. The ma dimension for ma matrix B is two row by one column. So you can see right here, look at the map, you can see that we have the number of row of A equal the number of uh, co the number of co column in A equal the number of row in B. So they are they are equal. So their pro product the dimension for a product will be just three by one. So now we we'll go ahead and mul multiply now. So we know that is how our how our um answer look like. So the one negative 1, 0, 3, 4, negative 2, time negative 1, negative 2, sorry I'm going to move the paper up so that we can see. So now our pro product matrix A and B, you have the di dimension is 3 by 1, 3 row and 1 column. So this is how you will multiply, you take row time column and that will be 1. So that will give you one number in our matrix A and B. So do 1 times negative 1 plus negative 1 times negative 2. So that will be Row number one, row number two, you repeat exactly the same process again, row, time, column. So do zero times negative one plus three times negative two, and lastly will be row number three, four times negative one plus negative two times negative two. So now again the di dimension for our pro product matrix A and B will be 3 by 1. Now we just have to sim simplify then we are done. So right here you have negative 1 plus 2 so that will give you 3. I'm sorry, ne negative 1 plus 2 will give you 1, sorry. And um, you have 0 times negative 1 is 0 plus negative 6 is <laughs> negative 6. And then 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So this will be the pro the product metric of A times B. This will be the conclusion for this video. Please write out your own summary. Thank you. Goodbye.